Oh, been a long, long time. <laughs> uh, finally got back to the boat. It's been a huh, busy few weeks. Uh, definitely busy at work. But back to uh, gel coating. Not a lot done today, but I want to show, you, show a couple things. Um, the grinder, you use that extensively. Super aggressive, but really gets the job done. Downside is uh, because it's so aggressive, it pulls a lot of material. So sometimes you might have to redo work you did. Um, this is the other piece uh, that I want to mention. Uh, this is a spade bit, uh, one and a half inch, and just took the grinder, ground down the tip, and there's two teeth here, so I ground that down, make a paddle, and that's my mixer, so I don't have to deal with finding pieces of wood or proper stir sticks or whatever. I got a permanent one now, I gotta wipe that off and uh, clean it a little bit out with acetone. So today, not a ton completed, but um, so what I did. So this is the rail for the track for the uh, hatch cover. So what I did was I ground it all down, took all the sand uh, glass out. Very tricky. Next time I'm actually going to use, I can't show it right now, but it's uh, back there. It's very, very thin. This glorious stuff. And it's super thin, you can see. Super, super thin. It's almost like a veil, but not quite as thin as that. So this is what I should have used, but I didn't use chopped thin body. So, this is what I'm left with. Gel coat thickened with cabasil, and I just used a uh, scraper to roughly fine tune the, uh, like fill in all the little spots. Did that over here. I mean, this is a test, because I haven't done this before. So this is a test. I did this surface right here, and this right here. That's a pretty big hole, so you can see that. Um, just kind of a test, and that was a very small amount of gel coat. It was barely about half of that. And you can see how much I can, I filled in. So I filled in all those spots here, those spots here, those spots here. And then just a little rough bit on the sword. And I'm gonna climb out and see what's outside. A little bit of an adventure climbing in here. Okay, outside again, what we got is the hatch cover, that's the lazarette cover, and I've taken out the metal piece, piece of roving in there, and then cover that with roving. They both, well this, that didn't actually, this had a core before, balsa core, and I took that out in favor of roving. I figure it'll be just as stiff and uh, yeah, you know, using more fiberglass, but there you go.